Hi everyone, uh, my name is Gabrielle Vickery. Um, I'm an artist and I have just started uh, a new online art course and I thought it might be helpful to anybody else who is looking for an online art course and they've been looking at this one in particular uh, they might want to know what it's like for the artists inside of the course before they commit. So they have a little bit more information um, and they get some, maybe some real time kind of feedback into how the course is going. So that's why I'm making this video. Uh, I do feel very uncomfortable in front of the camera, so we're just gonna have to let that go. But let me take you back a little bit, just a tiny little bit. So. My own story is that uh, I've always been creative and always been a, an artist, but as I've got older, I've found that crazy obsession about being creative. It just gets stronger and stronger, it doesn't lessen. But people who are kind of around my age, I'm 54, 55 now, I don't even remember. Um, but if you're at that age and you're also obsessively creative, then you know what I mean. It's like that obsessive drive to just do that. And of course, with life there's never enough time to actually do that there's always other stuff going on um, so for myself I decided that now is the right time I needed to I want to get to that next level so I want to be a, a, an incredible artist that's it I'm just putting it out there I want to be an incredible artist and I'm okay um, but I, I want to take it to the next level and I feel like I need some help with that and um, I'm not doing it by myself. I'm not getting there by myself and uh, so I need some help with it. And I saw this art course come up um, and I'll put some details on the screen. Um, and, and I jumped at it, I decided to commit to it. So I have committed to this course and um, the recommendation is that you do a certain amount of hours and you get through the course in a year but it looks to me already like it's gonna take me two years. But that's fine because art is a journey. Mm as is life. So if you're interested in this course, which I'm going to talk about now, uh, and you want to see the perspective of someone who's just started it, going through it, then please follow me. I would love to have you. And if you have any questions, um, then please put them in the comments and then I will answer them in the next video. So, okay, a quick brief overview about the course. The course is called uh, the Milan Art Mastery and it's run by Milan Art Institute. Lots of different sections. Uh, they throw you in at the deep end with uh, oil painting and drawing. Uh, oil painting, I know for a lot of us, might seem um, crazy to start with that, but apparently that's where it's at. So the basis of the Milan Art Mastery is that they teach you um, the basics of the old masters, so you start learning by how the old masters painted. Um, and there's something very, there's something very rich and authentic about starting kind of at the top, <laughs> at the back and at the top, at the top end um, of art because they, they knew so much um, and they knew so much with materials and techniques that were very different from today so it is really really uh, a great grounding in learning a whole new toolkit when it comes to art and painting. Along with the old mastery techniques, you also learn um, a whole, whole kind of parade of mixed media and contemporary techniques as well. Um, so a great portion of the course is upping your skill level, learning new techniques, working with new materials, pushing your boundaries. Uh, and that in itself is kind of priceless if you're at home you're painting in your room and you're not getting any feedback from other people uh, you're not kind of you know mixing too much with other people. It's can, it can be very isolating. So being on a course like this can be very motivating, very proactive, uh, and really inspirational. Um, so what else do they do? So along with the the techniques, all these new techniques you're learning, you'll also be learning how to find your voice. So finding your voice is one of the key components of the course, and that is how to find your own style and. Of course, we spend our, you know, a lot of us, we spend our whole lives painting. We're painting different subjects, we're painting different mater materials, different media, um, different techniques, different styles. Always looking for that next thing, looking for that next thing. Oh, I must try this, I must try this, I must try this. Um, but then when you do that and you're skipping over everything so much, it's often very hard to find your own cohesive style. And that's where the magic is. The magic is in finding your voice. 
so that when people look at a you know 10 pictures they're gonna say oh yeah that's a that's a Gabrielle Vickery that is they're gonna know it because it's gonna stand out to them because they're all gonna have that kind of same flavor which is my flavor <laughs> so that's one of the really great things about the course is that it teaches you to find your voice uh, and then I believe I'm not there yet I'm only like barely scratched the surface so um, along with learning the techniques and finding your voice it's then how to actually market your business so I think they go into the whole, you know, make a website, um, how to promote your business and how to get it seen by, um, by buyers. So um, as wonderful it is to have your friends and your family buy your vacational piece of your work, how amazing would it be if you could actually sell to people who don't know you? <laughs> like a, a stranger buying your art. I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? <laughs> um, so that also comes into it, it's a, it's a big part of it, which is how to market, how to business and how to reach those people who are then going to buy your art. And the, the premise of this course is you give them a year or two years, depending on how quick you get through it. Um, and you can then, you'll have all of the skills that you need in order to become a full-time artist. So you won't need a job, uh, a side job or a a second hustle or whatever you'll be able to do it full time so that's kind of the premise in it there's no guarantees obviously it, um, you get out what you put in um, so that's where I am so the course recommends that you do 20 hours a week so this is the first thing all right 20 hours a week that's quite a lot when you have a family and um, people to take care of and you also have a job so although 20 hours a week is the recommended um, you do what you can. So I am logging down, I've done a couple of weeks now, um, and I'm logging down every day the amount of hours that I do or don't. <laughs> so currently I'm managing just under half that, um, but I'm sticking with it and I'm hoping that there'll be some weeks when I can do a lot more and bump that, bump that time up. But I'm trying not to feel pressure in the fact that I'm not doing 20 hours a week, but the thing is I'm doing it and I've I've been on this course for maybe three and a half weeks so far and I've already learned so many new skills that it's it's taken my head off. It really has, it's just been amazing. Um, money wise, I'm just trying to think how much it's costing. Hang on, let me check it out. $200 a month, £164 a month. Uh, it's a lot of money when you break it down even further, that's £41 a week. You break it down further that's five pounds a day so when you think about it when you're thinking about all of the skills that you're learning and uh, how fast you're going to be leveling up for me even though it is a it's a lot of money and it is a it's a considerable amount of money when you work it out uh, monthly or weekly um, but it is worth it so far and i'm in week three and i, I already feel like i've learned so many skills if i take that back to my regular painting it's gonna change the way that I paint and it's gonna improve my painting and my drawing. So that's just how it's been for me so far. So that's the overview of where I'm at so far. Um, I signed up for the course. I've been given access to a certain amount of videos to start off with. Um, I've had to purchase all the supplies so that there are extra costs along with the, the course. You then have to buy all of your own materials um, and there are other recommendations that they make which you can do if you have if you have the wherewithal to do them which is to um, make sure that your lighting is correct so warm light rather than cool light because they say that I mean I'm, my studios here they've got cool light because because um, but they actually say that if you're painting and you want to be painting more accurate colors then you want to paint with warm light because your painting is going to end up in a room which has warm light your painting is going to end up in a gallery which most likely has warm light so I got that one wrong didn't I? so um, I haven't changed my lighting yet because uh, this, you know whatever it's a big thing um, but I may do that we'll see how it goes the other big uh, kind of in not investment but um, the big bit of gear that they really recommend that you do is to get yourself a big easel now when I was looking at easels years ago um, I was looking at these massive H frames um, which were a step up from the A frames 
but they're very, very expensive uh, and they're complicated gizmos. And actually my room is, I think, only eight foot, so I couldn't even get one in there anyway. Um, but on the course, they actually show you how to make this super giant, super giant easel, which I'm looking at over here. Um, and it's a pretty simple easel to make if you have the, you know, if you've got someone that can help you with it or if you're good at wood, um, but it doesn't cost too much and um, if you're handy with the drill then you're then you're golden um, but I'll put in a little clip here of my amazing incredible brother who helped me to build my easel which I now have just come outside my amazing incredible brother has left this outside for me <laughs> so he's just built I just need to see if I get it downstairs into the studio. So yeah, so there are some sort of basic fundamentals that that are good to get into and more so more so than just having a big easel, there's something about your mentality shift that happens when you actually prioritize your art and you make a commitment to yourself and part of that is the financial side of it. I'm committing financially to money which is very very precious um, over to over to art. I mean, it's mad. In some part of my mind says, it's just crazy, what the hell are you doing? But the other part of me says, art is such a big part of me. It, it's inside me and it's screaming to get out all the time. When I go to sleep, when I wake up, you know, when I'm doing anything else, all I really, really want to do is be here, creating art. So the commitment that you make to yourself by financially investing in something like this, um, buying all the materials that go along with it and you know they are you know all paints are costly they really are um, but you don't have to do it all at once you can do it bit by bit there's Christmas coming up so you know you can ask for gift vouchers and all sorts um, but with the easel itself there's the easel makes such a statement it is such a big feature in my space um, that it's a constant reminder of the commitment that I've made to myself and the fact that I'm taking myself seriously as an artist and my absolute intention is to be able to do it full time um, and yeah so so for all of those reasons if you can carve out the time and if you can commit to you know a fiver what is it a fiver a day not including your materials um, and you're passionate about something like this then I would I would thoroughly recommend it. Thoroughly recommend it. So, uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at so far. I'm going to. I'll make a second video showing my first couple of weeks inside the course and what I've done. Um, and if yeah, if you have any questions, then post them below, and I'll be happy to add them, tag them onto the next video. And thank you for getting to the end. And if you want to see me run through the whole course this year long or two year long course, depending on how long it takes me, um, then please do comment below because I literally, it's like I'm talking into a vacuum now. So um, I am Billy No Mates, okay? So apart from, apart from my friends here. Uh, so yeah, thank you and catch you soon, bye.